Hello Virgo, welcome in to your weekly reading. Let's see what's going on for my Virgos this week. I absolutely love doing these readings. I love my Virgos. So if you are a frequent Virgo watcher, be sure to comment, let me know. I love when you guys comment. Um, I have my Virgo community is just so strong. We just went through the Gemini new moon. Uh, well, literally it's like the residual energies right now. Um, so all about communication all about like really stepping into our authenticity our self-worth with mercury being retrograde in taurus kind of reevaluating our worth our values and kind of you know speaking it into existence setting these manifestations and you're going to notice in the next two weeks a really big release on that how we're going to be communicating our truth a lot more especially putting aside fear and having faith having faith that if we ask for what we want and if we stand in our truth that we are going to get it okay that's my two cents on the astrology of this week. Mercury is going to go direct at the end of the week. So I feel like as us mercurial ruled Virgos, we're going to feel a sense of things starting to pick up again. Life starting to get back to normal as we sort through that shadow period. Sometimes I feel like the shadow periods are more potent than the actual retrograde itself. Clearing out, dumping baggage in our head, in our mind, just like how you would clear out clutter from your house. Like take this week to really clear out the clutter in your mind. Like what memories can you detach from? What memories like no longer serve you? What thoughts, what things in your head, what fears no longer need to be there? Like repurpose it, give it away. Um, release that, release it, release, release. Take advantage of this energy to revise your mindset with all this Gemini mental communication energy. Enough with the spiel. As always, if you want a personalized reading from me, be sure to check the links in the description box as I offer a couple offers. Also, if you're in the Tampa area, I now am doing personal readings out of a shop called Royal Susie on Wednesdays. Um, if you call in and you book ahead of time and schedule, that way you can get an in-person reading with me. They're normally the same as my online prices, but you're getting me in person. So it's kind of, I don't know how close you live to the Tampa area, but if you want an in-person reading for me, definitely check the store out, Royal Susie. Call in, schedule a time with me. It's normally Wednesdays. Um, from this Wednesday, it'll be like 11 to 4.30, but it's normally two to six, but you know, call in, they'll normally tell you. All right, let's get into it though. Let's get into, let's get into all the things. Um, the song I got on shuffle for my Virgos was Roses by, it's like, da -na 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 it's by St. John. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and like, you know what? I don't really understand what that song's saying, but Maybe you're going to get roses this week. I want to manifest for my Virgos that somebody is going to be bringing you roses. <laughs> I think that's not what this song's about. I think this song is about like, uh, never sold a bag, but look like Pablo in a photo. This can make them feel the way like Tony killed Manolo. You already know though. You already know though. I walk in the corner with the money on my finger. She might get it poppin'. I might wife her for the winter. I already know. I already know. All I need is roses. So somebody might be trying to wife you or you might be trying to wife somebody. Somebody, let's, let's just stick with like, somebody's gonna be bringing you roses maybe with an attempt to like make a romantic gesture manifesting that for you. Let's get some Oracle cards here. What's happening for Virgo this week? Change, a new season in life. Ooh, ooh, this is exciting. Uh, if you look at change, it's exciting. Trust, faith, and power in the universe. So you could be going through some changes right now, some changes that require you to trust, to have faith. Um, exactly what I talked about. I just made this post on my Instagram. It's like faith and fear cannot coexist. 
uh, because it's like lacking trust. And the more that we hide in the energy of fear, the more that we resist like change, like the lack of trust we have in ourselves that we know, you know, it's, it's about building, being honest with ourselves and also building that trust with ourselves. Let's get one more. The sun, mass, conscious mind, masculine life force. So there's a lot of changes coming for you this week. We have set intentions. New moon energy, we're setting intentions. The thing about this change though and this trust, this is where you're like releasing and kind of letting the universe show you what's next. Um, and you just stepping into your authenticity and you're kind of aiding this change and transformation by really expressing what it is that you want and trusting in your own truth, confronting your truths and trusting them. Let's get some monology cards. What's going down for my Virgos this week? The end of a tough cycle approaches full moon in Capricorn. So this is like that release energy that's happening for you around. It's not even about like you're already good enough, you know, like you don't have to do anything more than you're doing. Like I feel like something, some kind of struggle you've been going through. If you have been in the process of change and transformation, you're kind of at the end of that. You're going to start noticing like what's changing in your life. Um, the tough, the tough, part is going to be over soon. Look at the bigger picture, full moon and Sagittarius. So again, this is like, what is your big picture plan? And when we start focusing on the big picture, we can kind of dial back in and be in gratitude in the present moment. Believe in the impossible. Damn. So um, surrender to the divine. So believing in the impossible, I feel like, look at the big picture, believe in the impossible. I feel like spirit's really asking you to let go and have faith here. But with this believe in the impossible blue moon, I feel like there's something coming in here that like, not only do you not expect, but you can't even fathom, like you can't even fathom. So this change, like this change is going to be um christened by something coming in that you can't see it right now you can't see it right now and like these might be small developments that take place that are going to lead to bigger picture stuff but like you can't see the whole thing right now but something really big is on the way and you're gonna it's gonna make sense why the things have been happening why the tough cycles like the things you've had to go through you've been going through, but something big's about to show up for you. I really actually feel that energy. And it's gonna be life-changing. Life-changing, whoa, we got the death card at the bottom of the deck. <laughs> Confirmation of like transformation. Something's showing up here that's like you about to change forever. Like something's showing up for you that is about to change your life forever. I don't think it's going to be something that immediately you see like that. It's like there's something showing up that in maybe six months, maybe by, well, full moon in Capricorn is at the end of the month and full moon in Sagittarius is actually mid month. Between the full moon in Sagittarius and this full moon in Capricorn that's going to be in July, your life is about to like rapidly change. So whatever comes in during this full moon in Sagittarius here, and then from cancer season, the end of cancer season during that full moon in Capricorn, your life is about to take a 180, Virgo. Your life is about to take a, 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 a serious 180. And I feel like whatever steps, whatever seeds you're planting, say this week, say with this new moon energy, small things are going to come in. But say by the end of the summer, say by like August, you're going to look back and be like, holy shit. All right. Whoa. Overall energy of this week, the six of swords. So there's something you're perhaps leaving behind this week. Let's get in. Let's get some. Let's get some, like your, this is about moving forward, moving out of emotional turbulence. What is the Six of Swords doing here? But it can also talk about me a message coming to you, maybe via online. It can talk about something um, coming in from a distance, communication here. What is the Six of Swords doing here, please? All right, we have the Ten of Cups and the Death card wanted to come out again. 
Um, the Ten of Cups, the Death card, and the Ace of Cups. You have a new beginning here. You have a new beginning, but with the Moon card here, I'm telling you, it, you're not going to see it. It's going to be a hindsight thing. It's going to be one of those hindsight things. Something that you're making a decision about right now is changing your reality completely. It's like changing your reality completely. The Ten of Cups here, this is that emotional fulfillment with the Ace of Cups. You're, you're, you have a new beginning here. All right. It's Eight of Swords. This is like, you, you, you know, this energy that I'm picking up on. Like, you're not going to see this clearly. You're, you feel like you're in limbo, but actually you feel like you're stuck in the change. You feel like you might be in limbo. You're like, I don't know what's next. I don't know what's happening. But that's where it's like trust in the universe that like you're actually... You actually are moving forward. We have the strength card here, Leo energy. I'm telling you by Leo season, the ace of wands, you're gonna realize. I feel like there's something actually coming in for you this week. Um, some kind of Leo energy. So this could be self-expression. This could be somebody expressing themselves to you. Why is the eight of swords here, please? Why is the eight of swords here? It's like you're not going to see it for what it is when it shows up. The Emperor. Okay. The Emperor. Um, Aries Energy. This could be somebody who... This could be you getting focused on where, what direction you're going in. Um, with that Emperor Energy. That's kind of like I know what I want energy. What is this Ace of Wands here? The Empress. There's something coming. There's something coming towards you. I'm hearing like a birth of a new beginning because the Empress is all about fertility, but it's that feminine energy. It can be expression. I do feel like the when I say the Leo energy, Leo's all about creativity, um, self-expression. It is the sign of children and like birth, but it's kind of like when we birth our expression or something creative i feel like this is something coming towards you i don't know if that makes sense to you about the birth is coming towards you you know like it could be somebody birthing something and bringing it to you um but it's like it's not it's not yours all right the baby ain't yours but somebody's about to like leave the baby at your doorstep type of vibes uh, but I don't think you're going to see it. <laughs> I don't know, you guys. Sometimes these messages are so cryptic. We've got the Knight of Cups. You're not going to see it for what it is at first. Um, the Knight of Swords. All right. And we have the Page of Crystals. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. What is this Knight of Cups doing here? This is talking about... Perhaps like a proposal, a romantic offer, a knight of swords. This is news coming in. What is the knight of cups doing here, please? The two of wands. There is some kind of action that I feel you are taking. Some kind of movement you are going to be taking. What is the page of crystals doing here? The five of wands. The hierophant going on here five of wands give me a clarifier for this five of wands nine of swords okay give me another clarifier for the two of wands the star card all right so um and then we have the hangman at the bottom this is all about like perspective clarity uh waiting for the universe waiting for a sign you with this energy here the knight of swords there is some kind of clarity, enlightenment coming towards you. I feel, I do feel like this is in the form of communication. Um, whatever this external energy is, I feel like for you, you're moving in a direction of hope. Like there's some kind of sense of hope that you're going to be receiving this week. Some kind of clarity that comes from a situation that gives you hope. But this hope is everything. It's everything to you. 
um, because it's an action that you can take. It's the big picture. It's you having hope and believing in the impossible. Page of Crystals. This is something that could be presented to you. Um, something that... With the Five of Wands here and the Knight of Swords, there is like challenge. There is like stress, restlessness, anxiety around this. This could be somebody who wants to offer you something. Um, but feeling like you're a little bit out of reach. This could be something you are, 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 are creating, you know, but like I said, I feel like this is something that comes towards you. And then it's like, it shifts your perspective. It gives you some kind of hope and it gives you direction. Let's further into it. Three of wands, something is coming towards you. This is not something that you are going to go out and find, okay? This is something that is showing up for you. Two of Cups. Maybe a person. The Tower card. Whoa. The Tower card. What is the Three of Wands doing here, please? Three of Wands. The Chariot. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> that flew away. It was the Chariot card, though. So, like I said, Cancerian season. Big, big, big energy. Something's coming towards you, but it's like once it comes towards you, then that's when you're taking action. Like you could be going somewhere. The chariot's about fast forward movement. It's like success. It's being connected to your path, to your purpose. So with the chariot card there, there is going to be something that like, it's like the ship comes in and then you, but the chariot comes in and you get on the chariot. Um, like you're... Like it's like Cinderella, like the pumpkin carriage shows up and it comes in um, and you're getting in the pumpkin carriage. The tower card is like the pumpkin goes back to being a pumpkin at midnight, right? <laughs> what is the tower? That's maybe why it's like you, you, you get, you're getting on it. What's the tower card doing here? Oh my God. The page of swords. Somebody's spots about to be blown up. Um, especially somebody who's like eyeing this situation. What is the tower doing here? What is the tower doing here? The five of crystals. The devil card. I feel like this tower moment feels external to you. I feel like in a sense, especially with the two of cups here, if this is talking about a connection or like somebody that you are interacting with this week, there's some kind of tower moment awakening, the page of swords. Um, this could be like a revelation, somebody who is in this state of anxiety. What is this energy that's coming towards you? What is this energy that's coming towards my Virgos here? The nine of wands. What is this energy coming towards Virgo? The wheel of fortune. One more, please. Oh, the moon and the queen of crystals. So here's the thing. Something's about to be illuminated for you. Knight of cups, um, which fulfillment. The wheel of fortune talks about positive forward movement. That is that Sag energy of kind of like faded forward movement. With the nine of wands here, this is definitely, you know, the wounded warrior. It's talking about having your guard up as like you've been through so much and you gotta fight another battle but it's like you've been tired you're tired you're tired so then the wheel of fortune is here to give you that that push that push that it takes you to like overcome some kind of subconscious fear overcome something that might be like a little bit hidden to you something that maybe has been hidden to you is going to be revealed so like i said it's like the birthing it's like if we plant a seed and, um, you know, I had like a new moon ceremony last night and it was really pretty because we buried our fear and it was like, you know, before when you're buried, like when you set an intention, when a seed is planted, it's in darkness. It doesn't know what's going to happen next, but then it grows and it grows into the sunlight and it blossoms. And then that's like the process we go through when we plant seeds. That's the new moon. 
So something's going on here. Something's going on here. What is showing up for you this week? What is this believe in the impossible energy? What is showing up for you this week? Six of crystals. Oh, what's showing up for you this week? Two of crystals. The queen of cups. Options? The five of cups. And the ace of crystals. Um... Six of Crystals talks about kind of reciprocation. It's like a return on your investment. Something that you've been waiting on is showing up. It's showing up this week, whether that's more money, whether that's like a promotion, whether that is um, reciprocation on energy that you put in a long time ago uh, or, or, or a seed that you planted a long time ago is about to show up and you are about to have options. Um with the queen of cups here this is definitely that sort of sense of vulnerability i do feel like there is some energy of loss that's that's coming up here too though um because there's going to be this kind of like two paths there's two paths you can take and that's where the indecision is coming up like you can stay where you're at or you can Leave the entire life you have behind. I don't think you're going to feel as intensely this week, but I feel like an opportunity will present itself and the decision that you make is going to be so much more transformative than you realize. What is this decision that's being presented to you? Awakening the judgment card. Wow. Um, the page of cups. One more. And the fool. The Ten of Swords. Here's the thing. I feel like the decision that you have to make, it is going to require some kind of leap of faith. And it is going to require you to close out some kind of cycle of self-sabotage. So it's going to be maybe painful. Maybe painful here. Maybe a painful ending. But what you're giving yourself the opportunity for is hope for a brighter future. Okay? Okay. What is the brighter future for you? All right, that's a lot. What is the brighter future for you? What is the brighter future for you? Four of crystals. What is the brighter future for you? Stability. Four of swords. Um, rest. <laughs> What's the brighter future for you? And seven of pentacles. Uh, it's something that's going to be slowly built. What's the brighter future for you? Nine of crystals. Yeah, it's something that's going to lead you to being very abundant, very self-reliant, self-sufficient, but it does come through a sense of like guarding and protecting your energy to a certain degree. Um, what actions will you be taking this week? Justice. The three of pentacles, the three of pentacles and the eight of pentacles. I do feel like the decision you make this week is going to kind of revolve around making a decision. Uh, making a decision it revolves around some kind of balance with the three of crystals something that you've been working on it's like a project or something that you've been building up to it's 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 something that I think within like the next few months you're gonna watch this sort of wave of abundance come in it, it you feel like it's one it's like oh patience but once that thing sprouts, whatever it is, whatever it is you've been working on or whatever it is you've been waiting on, when it sprouts, it's going to grow really, really fast, a lot faster than you think it is. Um, but it requires you to what? It requires you to what? The hermit. I think get in the sun, get really clear on what it is that you want, the world card, and be willing to like stand in that presence of expressing what you want and and eradicating anything that's not that anything that's not that so this is a, a really like more profound reading I feel like so this week seems really interesting you guys are gonna have to let me know what's going on for you or what you feel <laughs> is showing up because it feels really intense whatever it is but in the extended, I'm going to pull some archetype cards. I'm going to pull from some different tarot decks, some message cards. For anybody who does resonate with this being sort of a love reading, we'll pull some message cards. But I want to get more specifics on what's coming towards you, 
what's showing up for you. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in that, be sure to click the link in the description box and I will see you over there.